In the previous lesson, we learned about how to use a scale on the maps to read direction. No. If we reach a point, how will we decide which path to go? To know this, we have to know about right and left direction. In this lesson, we will learn about the right and left directions used in maps. In previous lesson, Golu had bought sweets for Tufan from Appu's confectionery. Now, Golu again started with his journey. After going some distance, he saw the board of road number 3 on the road. He was shocked. According to uncle's map, he should have been on road number 2. So where did Golu make a mistake this time? Golu was to go right on road number 2 from Appu's confectionery. But he took a left turn from Appu's shop, which was road number 3. Kids, do you know how to identify right and left directions? The direction that comes to your right hand side is called right hand side. And the direction that comes towards your left hand, we call it left hand side. Do you want to learn an easy process of identifying the right hand and the left hand? The left hand starts with the letter L and hence denoted with L. Keep your hand like this. Now, the hand whose thumb and index finger is making the letter L is your left hand. And the other one is right. Let us understand this with another example. Suppose Golu stands here and has a bucket on one side and a ball on the other side. Now, how will Golu identify which side is the bucket on and which side is the ball on which side of his hand? It is very easy. By the process that we learned, Golu would raise both his hands in this way. Now can you tell which hand is making letter L? Yes, with this hand. So, which hand of Golu is this? Alright, left hand. And this hand? Right hand. So, which side of hand does Golu have the ball? left hand and the bucket on his right hand. After looking for the way, Golu finally reached road number 2. Walking straight on road number 2, he is now standing at such a fork end of the road. Can you see the map and tell which road Golu has to take next? Yes, Golu will now have to go to road number 5. Can we tell from the process we learned that to get to road number 5, Golu has to turn right or left? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer to this question. Well done kids, you have found the right answer. Road number 5 is on the right hand side of Golu. So he will have to turn right to go to road number 5. Golu has now started walking on road number 5. Reaching the end of this road, he went to the left and the last route of his journey. The road started at number 6. Children, can you look at the map and tell that from where will Golu pass on the road number 6? Which side of Golu will this place be? Find the answer to this question by pausing the video. Absolutely right! Walking on road number 6, Golu will pass next to the post box. The post box will be on his left hand side. Walking straight on road number 6, 
Golu finally reached Tufan's house. He gave Tufan the box of sweets that uncle sent and also gave him lots of birthday wishes. Children, in this lesson, we have learned about the right and left directions using maps.